We live in a world of constant change. To meet this challenge globally, a greater emphasis is being placed on the need for better numeracy and math skills. If we look at the way mathematics is being taught, very little has evolved. Statistics show declining student confidence and diminished math achievement levels. In many of our classrooms, we often see teachers standing in front of the classroom, modeling a procedure or concept, then one or two students being called upon to answer the question or solve the problem. The rest of the students are left with practice sheets and textbook pages. Teachers try to fill in the learning gaps by walking through the class, assisting with as many students as possible during the assigned math block. We know our students don't all learn the grade level curriculum at the same time. Many of our students are struggling, and as teachers, this is frustrating, as this gap continues to increase as the students move up in grades. What's the answer? An effective solution equals guided math. A multiplication sign right in there, they just put the variable right next to the number. And when you see that, it's always, always, always going to be multiplication. Guided math uses small groups of students that meet regularly to receive targeted learning instruction. This method meets the needs of all students, regardless of grade and ability. Through targeted assessment, teachers can identify where gaps in a child's learning occurs and can organize students into flexible groups. In these groups, all students can be given the opportunity to develop their mathematical skills and gain independence and confidence in the real-world applications of mathematics. Students who struggle, and I struggle with making sure that they understand the basic concepts that we're covering during a regular lesson. So it gives me a venue not just to help the struggling learners, but everybody. So grade three, give me a thumbs up if you have your math notebook in front of you. The kids are engaged for 90 minutes, which I had never seen in my old traditional ways of teaching. They get to do math games, technology. They get to work at their level. They feel successful. You can see it on their faces. Either they're feeling that they can do this or they're feeling challenged, like for the first time. So. It's really exciting for me and for them. Students are curious, active learners with various interests, needs, abilities, and backgrounds. We know that students learn best when they can attach meaning to what they do. A key factor in numeracy success is preparing our students to be mathematically confident, to solve problems in the real world. As educators, we achieve this when we allow our students to communicate and reason within a culture of mathematics. Guided math is a format where targeted, flexible groups of students work closely with their teacher to focus learning at their instructional level. This approach includes whole group instruction and independent practice with greater focus on instructional minutes spent with targeted so, small groups. Today we're gonna to be looking at algebraic equations. So we have three times C. Groups are formed in a variety of ways by continually assessing student strengths and targeting areas for development. When your group is engaged in instruction, the rest of the class participates in math centers or workshops. Using directed tasks and well-chosen manipulatives, the teacher supports each individual student to build his or her skills, concepts, or strategies. Ideally, small groups of students meet for about 15 minutes each day, but as little as once a week will benefit in building student confidence and thinking skills. Groups are flexible and change often to meet the ever-changing needs of the students. By intentionally assessing students' understanding through formative and summative assessments, teachers can plan mini-lessons that will target learning areas for growth. Communication is at the heart of any mathematics program. To clarify thinking, to express ideas, to share with others, to justify processes, and to explore relationships. Students explore mathematical concepts in an engaging, small, risk-free environment. Each child has a voice and the ability to demonstrate what they know and understand. 
As the teacher, Guided Math allows you time to target and respond to student needs, scaffold specialized instruction, and engage individual learning to its fullest potential. Create environments rich in mathematical opportunities for students. These are essential if we want our students to develop an understanding of mathematics and become numerate adults. These include word walls, anchor charts, math literature, calendars, manipulatives, and the physical arrangement of space. All guided math classes need to start with an activating knowledge activity. These brief daily tasks help students to make the subtle mental shifts into the world of mathematics and learning. Whole group instruction is still part of a guided math classroom and is necessary when introducing a new concept, skill, or strategy. Whole group lessons work effectively when making literature connections, modeling a new strategy, sharing a video, or engaging in a math talk. Instruction is straightforward, practical, and reaches all students in an efficient manner. During small group instruction, teachers observe student understanding, monitor student progress, and provide support for struggling learners as well as enrichment for others. It is also a time for one-on-one -on -one conferencing. These conferences offer teachers a valuable opportunity to interact with individual students, to evaluate and monitor students' understanding. Math workshops, or centers, are focused on what other students are doing while the teacher is working with a small guided math group. Workshop activities can include technology, concept-specific games, math journaling, investigations, and or independent practice. The guided math framework is a highly successful structure that provides all students the chance to succeed and become lifelong lovers of mathematics. It takes dedicated teachers to embed this structure into their mathematics instruction. In upcoming videos, we will delve deeper into the details, strategy, and implementation of all seven components of a highly successful guided math classroom. When you're a teacher and you're doing your, your planning, of course, one of the things is you always want to make the connection between how numeracy and literacy connects to the real world. See you next time, and thanks for watching.